guys, welcome back to my channel and my page. I'm still your girl, Tochi Williams on Apple. And we are still on the gist from the Palace of Oni of Ife. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And tell me what you think about it on the comment section. I want to remind you that all we share with you here, they are all alleged information. Okay, having known that, let's proceed. From what we are hearing right now, alleged, they said... Quinami becomes emotional as she was crying all through. As Kabi is called her at night, they said he called him by he called her by midnight and was begging her to please forgive the way uh, he treated her before then, and was also begging Quinami to please come to her rescue. That a lot of things are going on uh, are going wrong right now. That most times. He will be in a confused state such that he doesn't even understand how a lot of things are going on. And they said it's not just about the manipulation that is going on, that a lot of things have been going wrong lately in the palace, which also which ranges from the king's businesses, uh, his emotions. Just two days, a bit three days ago, a certain guy surfaced online claiming that he is only of his first first son they said the guy is, should be around 30 something years even though he did not drop his age but by me looking at the picture that he posted he should be around that age and again claiming that kbs uh, hired him and the, the mother and from his right up he said in 60 days if kbs did not come out to claim him publicly that he is going to expose a whole lot of things about kbs so this thing is getting to the king reason is because according to what we're hearing they said he know nothing about all of this you know and if it is true that the child is not his own and the judging from the age of the guy in question when you calculate kbs's age and that that of the guy you can see that it's just a make uh, or let's say conspiracy you know and the funny part of it is that this guy d d disappeared into the Thing, eh, up to now, no one can say this is his way about, this is this, this is that. And they say all of this is bothering the king. As a matter of fact, we heard alleged that he even placed a reward for anyone who give information about the guy's way about. You know, this is to tell you that it is really getting to him. Irrespective of all the all that bloggers have been saying about KBSC and all of that, they say there is nothing that have got to him like this one. So this is a problem to him. Plus other things, as a matter of fact, some days before now, that should be around last week, we heard that uh, the Oloris have left the palace. That KBAC was the one who instructed his guard to uh, pack some of their belongings to that of the supporters. But as we speak right now, from what we are hearing, don't forget that they are all alleged information. They said all of them, almost all of them are coming back to the palace gradually. And KBAC could not utter a word or say anything. What do you call that one? Is it not <laughs> manipulation at the at, at the highest order? If it is true, if it is true, because I will always remind you, I do not live in the palace. I saw it on social media, and I'm sharing with you on social media. I wasn't living in the palace. I am not living in the palace. Okay. So they say when KBC called Queen Naomi at night, he told Queen Naomi that a lot has been going wrong, that he sh that she should understand him. That she, he was just being angry is not because he doesn't love Quinomi or doesn't want to fight to be with Quinomi and all of that. But the thing is too much on him. That a lot have been going. They said even his business is that he is having uh, problems right now. But there are things that they uh, they want to hide from bloggers because they are not saying any little mom will carry it and come and share with you people here. So with all of this on his neck, he doesn't know what to do again. According to what we are hearing, they said... He have been pleading with Queen Naomi to please come and stay with him in the palace so that they can hold hands, hands together and pray that he is even ready to pray that all the sacrifices that they have been doing, all the things that they have been doing, it looks as if none of them is working, that he needs help now more than ever. And they said Queen Naomi was crying. She was crying all through. She was crying all through. What do you expect her to do? They said the young lady in question have been praying and praying and praying but one thing i do know is that the women are too many six how can one person fight six people 
because it is like a, a fight or a six against one. So I don't know. I don't know at this point. Eh, seriously, if if I am God, I will just settle this whole matter once and for all. In a way that these people will know that there is God. In a way that they will know that it is God who placed Kwenomi in that place. But you know that we, we, our thinking is not the same thing with that of God. God will always do his thing uh, at the right time, at the time he calls right. Because to us, we want every time we want it to be the right time. But it is only the will of God that will be done. They say Kabiyasi have been begging for Naomi not to be angry with him, to come and stand with him, to come and hold hands with him and pray, to understand the situation. Ah, this life. See, let me tell you. You see that picture, that portrait that these people took to, to, to a certain place? They must have done something with it. They must have done something with it. And for them to be coming back to the palace without Kabiyasi doing or saying anything, even when we heard that he was the one, who sent their things to that quarters, that Orisa quarters. If it is true, that means there is something, serious one. And it is, it is obvious that the women will not keep quiet. They are not going to rest. They will do something to ensure that they win. But it is only with the will of God that will be, uh, 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 that will, that will be done. You know? And recently we even heard that KBSC is planning for a grand entrance for Toby. And the, the twins, even though a lot of rumors have been flying on social media that the children does not belong to KBSC and all of that, I don't know. If they belong to KBSC, I don't know. If they did not belong to him, I don't know. After all, he was the one who announced the birth of the babies. Yes, he was the one who announced it before we started hearing all of these uh, stories that touches the heart and all of that. How a certain woman have been coming to claim the baby and all of this. All of this drama is enough to give a man heart attack. Seriously, Kabias is a strong man. Oh. You see, Kabias, he's a very strong man. <laughs> he's a strong man because it's not everybody that, will, that can stand all this pressure. The pressure is much. It's coming from Toby. It's coming from... It's coming from uh, Mariam. It's coming from Ron. It's coming from the Elizabeth. So, hey, now wow, polygamy will not be anybody's met. Oh, hey. And they want Kwenomi to come and carry Tadenika and enter the palace. Hmm. I don't even advise that, though. I don't advise it. The only thing I will take up is if all of this information we are hearing is true, is that whenever it is too much on him, he should go to Lake Mansion and spend like two weeks there. And tell the, uh, the palace that he doesn't need any form of disturbance. Cool off with Queen Naomi. When it is less, <laughs> he will come back and start from where he stopped. Guys, I don't know what to think. Whatever be your advice on this, please drop it on the comment section. Uh, even though it might reach to him, it might not reach to him. <laughs> but always bear in mind that all these are all alleged information. I do not live in the palace. I know they live for palace. So always bear that in mind. Okay, thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and thank you. I really appreciate your support for me. Bye for now. Love you guys.